All right, good morning. I am so glad you stopped by. We had a campfire last night, and what I've found is my lungs aren't ready for campfire smoke. I noticed last night when I got in bed, I was a little raspy. So I need to wait a few weeks before I sit around real close to a campfire. But you know what we're going to do today? I've got a great idea. Do you know that there is a crowd of naked people down there? I've heard about it for years. <laughs> People just walk around with all of their junk out of the trunk, right down in this direction about a mile. And we're going to take a bike ride today. <laughs> you know what we're going to do? We're going to go and look at naked people. But don't get too excited yet, because let me tell you about these naked people. They're really not the kind of naked people you want to see, you know, usually. <laughs> If you think, I want to see some naked people, you want to see some nice, pretty naked people, right? Well, that's not what we're going to be seeing today, <laughs> unfortunately. Yeah, you would hope that when people wanted to get naked, they were good looking. But that is not always the case. But curiosity has got the best of me, and I have just got to go down there and check out and see what is going on down there with the naked group. And you know, in the South, we have two words for naked. We have naked, and then we have naked. <laughs> now, naked is different than naked. Naked is when you don't have any clothes on, but you're also up to something. <laughs> That's what naked is. That joke is from the great, late great, Louis Grizzard. I think he made that joke in about 1979. But it's so true. So we're gonna go check on these naked people and see if they're actually naked people. See what they're up to. Okay, so we have arrived. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm gonna be able to post any of this video. I mean, it's just too many people swinging out here. Okay, I am back at the van and unfortunately, I cannot or I will not show you any of the things I witnessed because it will burn your retinas and you you will never get that out of your mind. Yeah, um, if you're going to some place to look at beautiful naked people, <laughs> that is not, I repeat, that is not the place to do it. So, but I had to go, I mean, I've heard about it for years and I've never been down there, and I just had to go and see what was going on. And it boils down to this. If you're into like old naked men, I mean, you're gonna love that place. <laughs> you, uh, yeah, you should go. But if that's not your thing, then I would recommend avoiding it at all cost. So. <laughs> Okay, let's move on to more productive things. So this is Yellow Wolf's rig. She has patterned this after me. She got the same uh, swing out arm and the same cargo rack. And this is the Ford Transit. And she's had to put a riser bracket coming out of the receiver hitch to get it up high enough off the ground because these transits are low on the back. And with her doors opening the way they do, She's having an issue with this driver's side door hitting the swing out arm. You can see there that when she opens it, it would bump that. All right, there's the Matty Wagon. I don't need that riser bracket because my van is on a truck chassis and hers is on a car chassis. See how low that is there? But the main thing she has to do is get this shank cut off of this cargo rack. See how far it sticks off in the back there and it's sagging down? So we gotta find somebody here in Quartzsite to cut that off. We've already drawn a line here. This is where it needs to be cut. Then she could put this portion in here and it would actually go on in through here because that's open there. I had to cut mine off too, but I cut mine a little short. I should have left it a little longer so it would go on through here. Even though that is welded all the way through and there's an insert in there, so it's not putting pressure here on the welding bead or anything. It does go all the way through. So that is the project she needs to have done. She's hoping to find somebody here in Quartzsite that has a metal cutting tool, a power tool, because this stuff is so thick, you just can't cut through it with a hacksaw. 
And this uh, hole here will have to be re-drilled right in here somewhere. So you can just insert it, get a pencil, and draw, draw an outline, find out where that goes. But it's just sagging down too much. Sagging to the right. And I think the first order of business is get that cut off and get this more compact. And then get that weight shifted forward so it won't look like this. That's the first thing. But there's just no way she's going to be able to get around her passenger, I mean her driver's side door not opening all the way. There's just no way because she has to have that riser bracket on there. So this is the Tinker Project for today. I just put these on for her. These are stabilizer brackets to keep it from shifting left and right. But that's all it does. It doesn't lift it up in the back. But when she opens this door, it bumps against the swing out arm. And it's all because of that riser bracket. There's just no way around it. It hits right there. Even with the arm open, it still hits right there because the first part of the swing out arm is stationary. It doesn't move. So that's the Tinker Project we got going on here at the campsite. She's also got a big clam tent coming in tomorrow. And um, I'm going to help her pick that, put that up because I just love putting up tents. So see, we do things around here that are productive. We don't just ride around looking at naked people. <laughs> you know, I would go down there and enjoy them and join them and run around naked. But I don't want anybody seeing my naked body. <laughs> you know. If I was beautiful, yeah, yeah, I'd do it. <laughs> but until I get beautiful, I'm going to wear clothes. But that's just me. You do you, <laughs> as old Rusty likes to say. If you want to be naked, go for it. You go for it. But yeah, I think YouTube would ban me if I put up the stuff I saw today. And you know, I just kind of rode through there with the camera just mounted up on the handlebars so nobody knew what I was doing but I don't feel like putting these naked people on YouTube I don't think that's right all right I think we should just end it on that note how about that take care be well and smash the bell mm -hmm.